boring. Here we go. I'm probably talking about the podcast here. Uh, Dear Billiam, I'm 25 years old and graduated college a few years ago and have been living in Chicago since. I hate it. Man, he hates Chicago, man. He goes, it's not that Chicago isn't a great city, but what, what it is... But, but what is it that happens to people when they get in their 20s and 30s? They enjoy the dumbest shit. I don't want to go to the same bar and taxi around and get food. No one seems to be interested in anything fun anymore. The only exercise my friends get is at the gym, and they don't do anything fun like basketball. And none of them are in good shape because they're on their asses all day. Everyone is a boring sellout. Uh, there is no spice in their life, in their lives. Am I an asshole or are they? Um, uh, neither. It's all about what makes you happy. The people you're hanging out with aren't doing the things that you want to do, so you're not happy hanging out with them. But they sound happy as hell to go to the gym and then sit on their ass and eat, have a beer and eat some fucking nachos. And if that's what makes them happy, they're entitled to it. What you need to do sir or ma'am, is you need to go find yourself some new friends. You got to go find some active people. I mean, there's plenty of, you're telling me there's nobody in there out in Chicago. There's no, there's not 19,000 fucking uh, pickup leagues of hoop, hockey, flag football, volleyball, water polo, rugby. There's all kinds of shit you could be doing. And uh, if I was 25 years old, I would get into a co-ed league. Co-ed fucking league. You find yourself a pretty girl that likes sports. You like sports. She's active. You're active. You know, you got a dick. She got a vagina. You know, well, there you go. What more do you need? Right? Fuck. If I can go back and be 25 years old again, I'd take up field hockey. Those chicks always had fucking beautiful legs, right? The tan fucking thighs. You know, short haircuts. You got to be like, all right, are you still into me? Or are you uh, kind of into uh, the same chick I'm staring at? I'll be your wingman. Fuck it. Can I watch? Um... <laughs> yeah, dude, you're not an asshole. What it is is you've decided to continue living an active life at 25 years old as opposed to just settling in. You know? Certain people out there, they get... uh they get old. They just get fucking... I mean, there's a part of you that, you, you know, getting old, you can kind of accept it. Um, like, I view... Uh, I love living like an old man if it means being smart. Like, uh, like take it, like, you know... Like, if I want to get shit-faced, all right, which I do. I don't know if you guys listen to this podcast every week, but I like to go out and get... I like to get fucking hammered. Um, I just do it at my house. Your house is the greatest fucking bar you could ever be at. If you're in a, if you're in a fucking house, I don't have upstairs, downstairs, neighbors, nothing. Okay. I got a wife and a dog and I'm stronger than both of them. All right. Well, my dog could fuck me up, but it doesn't realize it. It loves me so much that it would never turn its pit bull powers on me. But as far as my wife, I mean, I'll take it down to the mat. All right. You can tell her I said that. Um, so if I want to get fucked up in my own house, I'm going to do it. I can fucking put on the music I want to put on. I can pop in a DVD, watch a little bit of Goodfellas. I don't have to deal. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. I mean, to me, like, the way to get shit-faced now is for me to be hanging with one other friend on my front porch, smoking a cigar and drinking some scotch and listening to some fucking music and just shooting the shit. It's quiet, you know? When you're younger, I guess you want the shit louder and that type of thing, but whatever. Like, to me, I don't feel like an old man doing that. I just feel like I'm smarter. Like, back in the day, I used to go to a club damaging my hearing, and the fucking music was loud and all that type of shit, but that worked for me back then because I didn't know how to talk to the ladies. By all means, drown out the horrible shit that's coming out of my mouth. Oh, with my Z Cavaricis. What was I doing? Uh, but, uh, yeah, dude, you know what? 25 is a, it's a great age. And uh, it's a critical age where you're starting to surround yourself 
with the people that you're really going to be hanging out with for the rest of your life. You kind of left most of your high school friends behind. Uh, not in a bad way. You just Your paths don't cross anymore, so you're going to get some new friends. And, uh, yeah, get friends who want to fucking live life, who want to go do some shit. Other than, you know, hey, let's go to fucking wherever the fuck they, where do people go? Where do they go? Cabo St. Lucas, wherever the, where were those hacky places, everybody? Let's go to Aruba, the places everybody goes, and then they go there. They jump off a bar stool in Chicago, and then they jump on a bar stool in a, in a fucking bar pool and sit there, right? Isn't it great? It's not as cold, and I can piss myself <laughs> without going to the fucking bathroom. Are we live in a what? It's like, no, we're kind of doing the same thing in better weather, better scenery and that type of thing. Um, yeah, if you go to Ruby, you should get outside the fucking place and walk around. Hopefully not get murdered like that chick, you know? Go find a waterfall and jerk off in it, you know? Enjoy the planet.